Hi there, welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be showing you how I created this large peony styled flower. It's a layered design made with white and pink chocolate. I started with two sizes of petals which have a scallop shape which I printed out. The surface that I'm working on is a plastic document cover which I cut into squares. These are a little bit bigger than my template. I then trimmed down my petal prints too. I'm using white and pink chocolate candy melts which I melted in the microwave. To create the petals I used the handle of a dessert spoon which is small and has a flat surface. I started by adding chocolate onto the surface and spreading it down to the point. Once the surface was covered, I added a small hint of pink near the lower half of the petal. Once done, I removed the plastic from the template and rested it in a paper bowl which has some shape. I made seven larger petals and then moved on to make five smaller ones the same way. Once dry, I carefully removed the plastic away from the petals Resting it in a bowl helps give a little bit of shape and dimension. I next made a three inch circular surface on which I would mount the petals and I did this in white chocolate. Once dry, I arranged seven large petals around this chocolate circle. Laying it out helps as a guide before application. Then I stuck them down gently with melted white chocolate in a piping bag. To create the second layer, I applied onto my plastic some white chocolate and then stuck five of the smaller petals into place. As you can see, you can easily use the petals to create smaller five petal flowers too, and this is much easier to do. Once dry, I peeled it away from the plastic surface. I then added the smaller flower into the center of the larger flower. I moved it around a little and once I was happy with the placement, I applied melted chocolate and glued it into place. I used yellow and light cocoa in a piping bag to create the center of the flower. I also added some silver dregets to finish the look. Adding more colours to the centre of the flower really adds to the overall look and finish. The final finishing touch was to add some veining details in gold edible luster dust. Once the flower is done, to lift, gently tilt and hold from the base. Using an offset spatula can help. This is a very large flower, but it can be easily tailored to a smaller size. Instead of assembling this way, the petals can be arranged and built on the surface of a cake too, and this would be much easier to do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Please be sure to subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching.